Choosing the best cough syrup can be confusing, especially with so many options available. In this video, we'll help you understand the different types of cough syrups and how to select the one that's right for you. First, it's important to know that there are two main types of cough, dry cough and wet cough. A dry cough does not produce mucus and is often caused by irritation or inflammation in your throat. A wet cough, on the other hand, produces mucus and is usually caused by infections like the common cold or the flu. Cough syrups are generally categorized based on the type of cough they treat. First, we have cough suppressants, also known as antitussives. These cough syrups are used for dry cough. They work by suppressing the cough reflex, reducing the urge to cough. Common ingredients include dextromethorphan and codeine. Next, we have expectorants and mucolytics used for wet cough. These syrups thin the mucus in your airways, making it easier to cough up the mucus and clear it from your chest. The common examples of expectorants are guaifenesin and ammonium chloride. And examples of mucolytics include acetylcysteine, ambroxol, bromhexine, and carbocysteine. Lastly, there are combination syrups. These are for multiple symptoms and contain a mix of ingredients to address different issues, like a cough suppressant combined with an expectorant or a decongestant. Common ingredients include dextromethorphan, guaifenesin, and pseudoephedrine. Now, how do you choose the cough syrup that is right for you? First, identify your cough type. If your cough is dry and tickly, a cough suppressant is likely the best choice. If your cough is wet and produces mucus, an expectorant or a mucolytics will help you clear it out. Next, consider any additional symptoms. If you have a fever, runny nose, or nasal congestion along with your cough, a combination syrup might be more suitable. Another important step is to check for allergies and any medical conditions you might have. Ensure you're not allergic to any of the ingredients. If you have conditions like high blood pressure, medication containing decongestants such as pseudoephedrine and ephedrine may increase your blood pressure. Hence, avoid taking decongestant if you have severe or uncontrolled high blood pressure. If your high blood pressure is mild and under controlled with medication, it's fine to take decongestants for a short period. However, monitor your blood pressure closely during this time and stop taking the decongestant if you notice any elevation. Remember to read labels carefully and follow dosage instructions. Be aware of potential drowsiness, especially if the syrup contains ingredients like codeine or an antihistamines. And when in doubt, always consult a pharmacist or doctor as they can provide the appropriate advice for your specific needs. However, if you prefer not to use medication, some natural remedies can also help to relieve your cough. Stay tuned for my upcoming video where I'll share easy to make and effective home natural remedies for relieving cough. Here are the key takeaways for today's video. Choosing the best cough syrup depends on the type of cough and your overall symptoms. By understanding the differences between cough suppressants, expectorants and combination syrups, you can then choose the best cough syrups that is right for you. And remember, always check for allergies and any medical conditions you might have so that you can avoid medications that might cause unwanted side effects to your body. When in doubt, always consult with a healthcare professional to ensure you select the most appropriate and effective treatment for your cough. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more health tips. Click below to check out my other videos.